So, I had a weird meeting this morning. Caden came in. Apparently, the council liked my mapping work on Savali enough that they want me to expand it by mapping every dimension in existence. Yeah, that might be impossible. Okay, I thought about it over lunch. I don't think it's that impossible. I'll just need the Dimensionator, which Caden loaned me, a year and three weeks, which has already been approved, and to never sleep again. Work starts tomorrow. Map my first dimension today. Pretty standard stuff, except the colors there were so vivid, like, whoa. And there were these creatures. One of them even looked like a Lombax, but, but he had smaller ears, a mask, and a cane, and I think he was pulling some kind of heist. Whatever it was, it looked cool. Second dimension down, not as colorful as the first one, but the creatures were definitely stranger. Their bodies were made out of all these old relics, but, but they could break apart and still be alive. It was so wild. And, uh, and now I wish I had asked Caden for more time. I, I just want to learn the stories of all these dimensions. Third dimension was cubes. Really, really smart cubes. <laughs> Don't know what else to say there, except that I might have to stop doing these for every dimension I visit, because there's a little bit less than an infinite amount left, and I could have mapped 32 in the time since I started talking. Okay, bye. Good news, mapping's going well. Bad news, uh, apparently not well enough, because Caden just asked me to go faster. He wouldn't say why, but he, he sounded stressed, so I let it go. <laughs> faster. Yeah, okay, like it's that easy. Well, good thing I stopped doing those recordings. Wait, I'm doing one now. Ah. I know I was going to stop doing these recordings, but I can carve out some time every once in a while. Just, I'm a genius. Dimension 31X7, not super different from home, but there were these creatures. One was firing a gun and spinning himself around every other second, while the other hung out on his shoulder doing live commentary. Oh, I wanted to hang out with them so badly. I finally figured out a way to map even faster. Caden uh, might kill me, but listen. Instead of all the cranking and pulling a trigger to use the Dimensionator, I just converted the whole thing into a helmet that runs on voice commands. I mean, he can't argue with the results, and if he does, I'll just complain about it here. Dimension 242Y8, quite possibly the cutest dimension I've ever seen. Oh, the inhabitants were all made out of wool, I think. Uh, they could literally make anything. And there was a, a really pleasant voice following me around everywhere. Oh, it was incredible. Oh, and what's even better? I think I'm finally close to mapping my last dimension. So tomorrow I'm going to sleep in for an hour. Because I'm done, baby. I mapped every single dimension in existence. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, I can't wait to see Caden's face when I give him the map. And tell him that I'll be going back to all those dimensions soon. There's still so much I can learn. Uh, I found out why Caden has been so stressed lately. Something bad's going on. Uh, bad enough that we need to hide as many Lombaxes as we can. And I guess all of my mapping work was to help find the perfect dimension for us to hide in. So, yeah, I hope I didn't screw anything up. This is my final recording. If you're listening to this, that means you didn't make it to the new dimension with us. And, and I'm so sorry. We're, we're trying hard to get everyone now, but our race is scattered across so many dimensions, it's... This is not farewell. I left a copy of my dimensional map in the archives, and, and I marked down where we're all going. I, I, I wish I could have left you a Dimensionator too, but... Uh, hey, I'm only one Lombax. I hope you find your way back to us, and if you do, please, look me up. The name's Mags. And I'd love to hear your story.